Her face is surely one of the most recognisable in Europe, and yet her whereabouts remain as unknown now as they were the night she vanished in 2007. Someone does know what happened to Madeleine McCann. Who that person is, is at the heart of the latest stage of this investigation. Later this month, seven people will be questioned as suspects, among them two British men and a woman, as well as another European woman and three Portuguese men. It's believed among the group is at least one former member of staff who worked at the complex where Madeleine disappeared from. Four other people will be questioned as witnesses, though none of those speaking with police were known to the McCanns. In recent months, searches have been carried out around Pride Deluge as part of a new investigation run by British officers. When it was launched, the need to speak to 38 people who were in the area at the time was seen as central to the inquiry. For those 38 people in total from, from a number of European countries, and obviously the, the inquiries that we seek to undertake will be, will be to, to understand more about what role, if any, they played in Madeleine's disappearance. As well as the searching, mobile phone analysis has taken place, and that is how the latest group of suspects and witnesses have been identified. The longer Madeleine is missing, the less the chance of her being found alive, but the greater the chance of advances in technology offering answers as to what really happened. Emma Murphy, ITV News.